Hey everybody, Rambles here. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic and our Blood Elf Mage. Thank you guys for clicking on the video and joining me here. I truly do appreciate it. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, let's head out. We have a couple of things to do. We have to visit both of the twin ziggurats. And I'll probably have a little chat on the way about some things that have been on my mind. So as most of you guys know, or maybe you don't know, uh, but they did put out the release dates for Cataclysm Classic as well as the Cata pre-patch. Now originally, uh, by their own roadmap, Cataclysm was supposed to full launch in, in the beginning of summer uh, to the middle of summer. It, it looked like, you know, it had a release by August 31st date. Uh, which typically means that, you know, they plan to release sometime within that month. So, originally, I kind of figured they would probably release Cataclysm around, you know, maybe anywhere from June 20th to August 15th. That was kind of my working assumption based on the roadmap, the info that they've given us. And I, I did think that, you know, the pre-patch would probably come either in early June or the middle of June. And basically, uh, what has happened instead is that everything has been bumped up an entire month from what my expectations were based on the roadmap that Blizzard put out. So, you know, instead of having it on a mid-August release, we now have a, a May 20th release for the expansion. Instead of having a pre-patch that starts in June, uh, we have a pre-patch that's actually starting now on April 30th, the end of this month. And yeah, it, it doesn't really fit uh, with my timetable. I was, as I said, thinking that I probably had until the beginning or middle of August to get this character leveled up to level 80, ready to go into the 80 to 85 content in Kata. As it stands right now, I really don't think that there's any way uh, with the full release coming in May on May 20th that I'm going to hit that. Uh, I would probably have to play this character two or three hours a day most days in order to get to 80 to be ready for a May 20th Kata release. And I simply, I don't, firstly, I don't have the time uh, right now to play more than an hour or so a day for this character on most days. And also, I didn't really want to have this be a character that I pushed that hard. I, I really didn't want it to be a character that I was going to stream on, that I was going to, uh, you know, play two, three, four hours every day, get it to cap as quickly as possible kind of thing. I did think we were going to have until August to have a relatively chill leveling journey. You know, with the with the joyous journeys, we definitely could have got there uh, for even maybe a, a late June Cata release. I, I think we would have been in really good shape uh, to meet that goal. But yeah, that's kind of where I stand, guys. I do plan to continue leveling this character. It's just going to be a little bit slower. Because I, I don't, I don't want to rush, and I don't think, even if I did rush, I really don't think that I could hit 80 uh, in time for May 20th. I think I'd, I'd probably have to be playing at, like, burn myself out levels uh, of play. Which is really not something I'm interested in doing. Uh, and so, yeah, so right now the plan is, you know, I'm going to keep leveling the character. While we're leveling, the pre-patch is going to happen. You know, today is the 13th. And the, the pre-patch is going to go live on the 30th. That's going to change the old world. We're probably, you know, there's a chance that we're still in Kalimdor or the Eastern Kingdoms by this time. We, we might not be in Outland yet. Uh, and so this character may see the world change around them. And it, it, you know, it's going to be a case where I'm probably going to end up taking the Paladin as my first character into the 80 to 85 content uh, in Cataclysm because the, the Paladin's capped, the Paladin has some pretty decent gear, and the Paladin's 80 just kind of waiting to go. And so that's kind of the revised plan. You know, they change their dates based on what they put out, so I, I kind of have to change my plans. Uh, that's probably going to upset some people, and if you are one of those people, I am sorry, but I figure we'll have the conversation now, and I'll, I'll kind of explain what's going to happen going forward so there really aren't any surprises. So yeah, plan to, plan to see the mage video still going up. I don't know if it'll be able to always be a daily upload, but I do plan to continue leveling the character. And as for anything else in Cataclysm, I really don't know what my plans are yet. 
you know there was a time when i really wanted to to see all of the quests uh in the in the altered world in the changed world after the cataclysm i really wanted to be able to read all the quests and make sure that i thoroughly visited every zone uh that that could still be a thing that we do i just have to figure out exactly like the best method the best way to do that uh, because what i don't really want to end up with is I really don't want to end up with a bunch of partially leveled characters uh, trying to just see the different zones and read the different quests across a bunch of different tunes. Uh, and so we'll have to see. And then the, the, you know, the other thing is like once I complete the old world on a character, like what do I do with it? Then I'd have to take it through Outland and through Northrend content uh, in order to get it to cap. Uh, which is content that we've seen before and that I, I really don't have a big interest in, in leveling again through the Outland and Northrend experiences. And, and so that's the other thing. You know, if I, if, I could, if I could see the zones on a couple of characters, if we could see most of the zones, read most of the quest, and then maybe, maybe I boost those characters, you know, from 60 to 80 if i if i wanted to take them also into cataclysm content so that's kind of like where i'm at i'm trying to figure out exactly what i want to do with cataclysm and exactly like the kind of content uh that i want to make for cataclysm so some of that stuff is is still a work in progress uh in the meantime uh for the streams i plan to keep the streams kind of focused on end game content right now uh, right now, you know, that's end game content that's happening mainly in retail. And eventually I hope that we'll get a chance to do some heroics at end game and some raids at end game in Cataclysm as well. And then we'll be able to stream those and hang out together while we do that stuff. But I think I'm going to keep most of the, of the leveling content from now on uh, is going to be in recorded series, whether I'm leveling up a, a retail character or a cat character or what have you. Uh, maybe we could request to join group here and maybe we can knock this out oh man straight up denied me <laughs> Ooh, maybe they're not doing this quest maybe maybe that's what it is straight up straight up denied the quest the request request to join group oh man that's brutal, brutal, declined again, brutal player behavior. Where's the camaraderie? Where's the community? Just two people flat out denied me. Like, no, no, we're killing this guy and we don't, we don't want you to get any credit or help us out. We don't want to help you out. Absolutely brutal, guys. What a way to begin. And also, like, you know, I, I feel like, I do feel like they are rushing Cataclysm out. Uh, it is kind of strange to me that they are, like, an entire month ahead on, like, where they projected things on the roadmap. And I also noticed that, I, I believe, if I saw correctly, the, they're going to have a two-month patch cadence. So, like, every two months, in the next Cata patch is going to come out. Which, it's, it seems like it's a little bit faster than the patch cadence we've seen for like TBC and Wrath. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, I, I'm not sure, but it does seem like a rapid pace to put out the Kata content. Um, you know, Kata, I guess the basically like the last patch for Kata is going to drop in January 2025, like the beginning of next year. And that's going to be it. Like once it's January 2025 and that last patch comes out, that's it. You know, Cataclysm is over. So that's, um, that's kind of weird to me. Like maybe, maybe you guys can correct me. Maybe, maybe the, the, the roadmap that I saw for Kata is not right. But yeah, from the roadmap that I saw, it seemed like the last patch for Kata was going to come out in January of 2025. Um, which obviously would mean the expansion is kind of around for like less than a year. So I, I'm kind of hoping that's not right. Because that would be that'd be really really quick to to blow through an entire expansion of content, but we'll see, we will see. 
part of me wonders if like if maybe sod isn't doing super well like numbers wise it, it, like maybe that was part of the decision to to bring cat out faster maybe the cat dates like kind of conflicted a little bit too much with war within and they just wanted to move it like for that reason uh, you know, because I, I did see that, like, you know, the Cata release and the War Within release were both, like, kind of close to each other. Now they're going to be a little bit more spread out uh, by a matter, by, like, several months. So maybe that's, maybe that was the only issue. Uh, we're looking for Spinal Dust here. It only drops off of the Skeletal guys. We have a, we have a level 80 just, like, just plowing through here, killing everything, which is not, it's not helping us. <laughs> We're going to have to do some instant cast stuff to tag anything. This is probably, yeah, this is probably not, not really, like, the place we want to be. <laughs> we just got creeped up on by, like, a giant abomination. Like, how embarrassing is that? Like, the ground was probably shaking and I didn't even notice it. Th those other players were just kind of standing around, like, waiting for him to attack me. He waited a long time to aggro. Yeah, he gave me a lot of time to, uh, to get out of there. Luckily, that level 80 I was complaining about, like, one-shot him. And then like some of the other thoughts that I've been having, and I don't I don't mean to just be negative. So when I'm like when I'm like kind of like venting or talking about my thoughts, my feelings about the game, about Cataclysm, like I hope no one takes it as me just being negative or just like trying to complain about stuff. That's not what it is. Just trying to talk about some things that have been on my mind so like ever so you guys know kind of like where I'm coming from when I make choices about the game in the future and about like where I spend my time. Is like uh, playing a little bit of the Cataclysm beta. Uh, what I kind of realized is that, you know, and I didn't think this was going to happen, but like what kind of happened is I realized that Cataclysm isn't really classic for me. Uh, it doesn't feel like classic. It's, it doesn't have a lot of things that I associate with classic and just like everybody has their definition of like what classic is, where classic ends. For some people, classic is only the 1 to 60, like the vanilla era. Uh, for other people, it's, you know, it's BC. It's it's up through Wrath. You know, for me, it was through Wrath of the Lich King. Like, in all those eras, I thought, yeah, you know, this is classic still. This is, still feels like classic. It's classic. It's good. Uh, Cataclysm, it doesn't it doesn't feel like classic. It's, it's past the threshold for me. Um, I remember talking about this way before, like, the game was going to be coming out. Like, talking about how I hoped they wouldn't call it Cataclysm Classic. How I thought calling it, like, something like Cataclysm Remade. Cataclysm, I know, Reforged gets a bad rap. But something like Cataclysm Reforged, uh, you know, would be better. It's funny that they ended up doing Mr. Pandaria Remix. <laughs> which makes me hopeful that we won't get a Mr. Pandaria Classic. Because I really, I really don't think anybody needs it. I, I do think the remix is a lot of fun. We, we played it on stream the other day. Uh, and it, it seemed like a blast. Uh, but yeah, I remember talking about how I wish they wouldn't call it Cat a Classic because I guess like maybe I always knew that for me, it, it's not classic, you know. And so I'll still play it, you know, I'm still gonna play it. Uh, but what I, what I felt playing the beta was that it really felt like a retail light. It felt like a retail light. Like it had some aspects that felt more like retail. Ooh, we can loot this guy. We tagged him. Somehow we tagged him and then that 81 shot him. Oh, that's nice. Uh, it has some aspects of, you know, retail. Like it's, but it's not, it's not all the way. So it's like retail light. You get some things, you get a bunch, some changes, a bunch of changes, but you're not, you're not obviously anywhere near like actual retail. And so it's, it sits in this weird middle ground for me where like, yeah, it's, it's not classic. It's not retail, and because it occupies this, like, really strange area, like, in my brain, in my feelings for it, like, I don't really know 
how to treat it, what to think about it, how to approach it, how do I want to engage with it, how much time do I want to put into it, uh, what are my goals, uh, kind of thing, you know? Because I, I've said this before, and I, I still kind of hold to it, like, if you, if you want to see the Cataclysm Zones, and you want to read the Cataclysm Zones quest, I still feel like the best way to do that is by doing the Cataclysm Time Walking campaign in Dragonflight, in retail, on a retail character. Uh, I, I just feel like it's better. You know, a part of it is aesthetically, you get the increased view distance. The new view distances are amazing. Uh, you get the new lighting changes taken from Dragonflight as well, along with that view distance, and the new lighting looks amazing in the old world. And you get a lot of updated character models, which quite frankly, and again, they look amazing. And, you know, and all the quests are the same. So if your interest is like mine, like in reading the quest and knowing the lore of the stuff going on during the Cataclysm, a part of me just really feels like the best way to accomplish that is by, by leveling up retail characters in those areas. Um, obviously that doesn't get you into like Cata Endgame. If you want to do Cata Endgame, you play Cata Classic, but like, I, I don't know how much, how much that's my goal. Uh, a lot of, a lot of what I feel is like, if I want to put a lot of time into Endgame, I would, I would much rather do that in retail. Uh, in retail, my character gets to carry forward. In retail, my character can go to the next raid, to the raid after that. They can go to the next expansion. They can do the raids there. And I guess one of the things I've been thinking about also with like Cataclysm Classic is that, you know, eventually the Cataclysm, uh, the, the classic experiment is going to kind of come to an end uh, as far as the progression of the expansions. Uh, I know we joke about it a lot, but I feel like it's very unlikely uh, that they would just keep releasing expansion after expansion and, and re-releasing them and calling it classic. I, I don't think that's going to continue to work. I think that them doing the Mr. Pandaria remix in retail is kind of proof in the pudding, so to speak, that they have other plans, that they don't necessarily plan uh, to do a Mr. Pandaria classic. They're not going to do a WAD classic. We're not going to be playing Legion classic in five years from now, because I do think the progression of, of classic is going to come to an end. And when it comes to an end, so do those characters. You know, so do those characters. Uh, they don't get to go into retail. They, If they're not going to go into Mist, into Wad, into Legion, then ultimately, you know, if you're going to spend a lot of time developing a character, a lot of time unlocking stuff for a character, finding transmog, finding mounts, uh, it just makes more sense to do that in a version of the game that's going to continue to have life, you know, maybe for the next 10, 20 years, which is not what's going to be the case with Classic. Uh, I think, like, with Classic, what would be a cool thing to see is, like, maybe they do more seasons. I would rather see progression servers that start in vanilla, and then, like, every four months or so, the next expansion comes out only up until Wrath. So, you know, you get four or five months of vanilla, four or five months in TBC, four or five months in Wrath, you get a month off, you get a reset. Something like that, like some kind of, there's probably a better way to do it. I know EverQuest does progression servers, so maybe if they look at like whatever EverQuest does, when those guys open up a new progression server, maybe that could be something that would be good for, for WoW Classic. Maybe not, but it, it might be worth a shot. I think that something like that would be a lot better than just trying to continue to push out, you know, all the expansions until suddenly, you know, a decade from now, we're playing Shadowlands Classic. I, I, I don't think that's a good plan, and I, and I don't think that's what the devs plan. So yeah, ultimately, the point of that was, when I think about Endgame, uh, a lot of my thoughts recently, obviously, if you've been in the streams, I've been, I've been doing Mythic Plus, trying to get my character geared up, trying to learn some of the Endgame goings-on in retail. Uh, I feel like if I'm going to spend a lot of time at Endgame, that's kind of where it, that's kind of where it should be. And yeah, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this as well. This is just stuff that I've been thinking about. Again, like, I'm going to play Kata. Uh, we're going to level at least one character through 80 to 85. Uh, hopefully we'll get to see some heroics. Hopefully we'll get to see some raids, even if we have to do LFR. Uh, that's still the plan. It's just, like, I, I don't think I'm going to focus really heavy on, like, weekly raiding, clearing the raids every week, gearing up the character. I'll probably approach it, like, very similarly to how I approached Wrath of the Lich King. 
which is that we'll get the end game, we'll have whatever fun we can doing heroics and maybe doing an LFR, and, and that's probably going to be the extent of like what we do with end game. And then we'll see, and then we'll see, you know, and then we'll we'll see what happens after Cataclysm. Where where does Classic go? from Cataclysm Classic, where does Classic go once Season of Discovery winds to a close? Those things will probably be happening at around the same time, I feel like. You know, you're going to see Cataclysm run its course, it's going to get all of its patches, then it's going to be over, and you're going to see Season of Discovery hit level 60. They're going to put out all of the content that they're going to put out for that version of the game, and then Season of Discovery is going to be over. Uh, hardcore has already like really fallen off. There's not really a big interest either in players or viewers for that kind of for that anymore. And then what's left is vanilla era servers. You know, will we see a resurgence in people going back to vanilla era servers and getting more of that like hashtag no changes vibe? Uh, will people stop playing classic altogether and end up mainly back in retail? Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see. Uh, over the next year, like exactly what happens with Classic. Uh, if I had to guess, and I, I hope that they would consider doing more seasons, I, I would hope that they consider maybe doing uh, like fresh start events or progression servers. I think that could be a good way uh, to keep Classic uh, alive, even if they're not going to keep putting out, you know, expansion after expansion. All right. All that being said, I know I've talked so much today. Uh, it's just been. It's been stuff that, you know, I, I kind of need to get this out here and it, it helps me to know that I'm like letting you guys know how I feel so that when I make choices about where I spend my time in the game, uh, you guys will kind of understand where I'm coming from. Victory lies ahead. Remember the sun well. So this item, we need to keep this. We need to use this on Darkon. When we go to fight Darkon, that's going to weaken him. Or it's going to deal a lot of damage to him. And silences him. Okay, yeah, we need to make sure. Now, we can't use swords. So <laughs> let's take the item that we can actually equip right now, which is the offhand item. The because, yeah, I believe ahead. we do have to have it equipped. Uh, this is to go slay him, so yeah. And what we'll probably have to do is we'll do the kill quest, we'll turn that in, that will give us a follow-up to kill his lieutenants, and then we'll go after his lieutenants and him uh, at the same time. I probably could have done uh, cleansing the way, maybe we can come down here and work on this a little bit. We need ravagers and spindleweb spiders. And also, like, you know, a last little bit on the topic, I'd love to hear from you guys. What would you want to see happen for the future of Classic? Uh, where do you think the Classic experiment should end, and what do you think should happen after that has run its course? I, I would love to hear some other people's thoughts on this.
Uh, having arcane intellect up would be good. Apparently, I dragged it off my bar, and then I forgot. Oh, I didn't. I created another bar, and then I forgot all about that bar. And just decided to have no buffs ever again. That's how infrequently I use this. Is like, my eyes don't even look this far over on the screen.
Well, that was not a very smart place to kill it. So let's see if I can even get up there to loot it. It doesn't think so. Yeah, there's probably epics on it. Oh, that one actually turns in right back here at the building. And then we'll head back to Tranquilin. What business have you? Hold your head high. And I think we can go ahead and just pop our hearthstone for today. It's probably not gonna be a better time to use it. Alright, so we are level 23, pretty close to hitting level 24, and the last stuff we have to do here uh, is going to be the war on Deathholm. We're going to have to take out this kill quest, we'll have to go after the lieutenants, and then we're going after Darkon himself, and I'm hoping we can get Knuckle Rot while we're at it. It's not essential, we're already like higher than the level curve to get into Hillsbred, but it would be nice just to finish up everything here and know that we completed the entire zone. That being said, I'm going to take a break right here for today, guys. Let me know your thoughts about the whole classic thing. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out in the real world and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.